being a CEO of an urban center is the best mandate that you can have. You are looking onto the reality, onto the problem that people on the ground are facing. And when you bring a little solution, you are seeing it in the eyes of people. There are many types of violence against women that women leaders in position of a CEO of cities should, should address. I, I do enter in this network because it's a unique one. Thinking about uh, enhancing the capacity of women leaders in urban city, this network will be to work on us to, and to, to reinforce our capacity and our leadership so that we can do more for others. I'm the first woman mayor to be in Bethlehem and the second in Palestine. Uh, being in this network, just even attending in the NDI more than one event and participating in more than one session is a particular empowerment. You listen to other women mayors, you listen to other women uh, experts, how they lead their own challenges. You feel that you are not the only one on ground that uh, really faces these uh, challenges. But uh, for me, there were serious violent attacks, mainly on my home, uh, my family, and even in the council sometimes. That was uh, a challenge, a serious challenge, that I learned how to work on it, to become an opportunity. I run a city that uh, was the most damaged during the last war in Kosovo. So. Also the consequences of the war, the uh, devastation, uh, the destroyment, uh, lack of development. Fourteen years uh, after the end of the war, the moment when I was born in office, were still present with the community. The fact that you deal with so many different problems, starting from the existential one like uh, ac lack of access to drinking water, all the way to uh, the job seeking uh, request and others, um, is the part that actually uh, adds to the challenge of being a mayor of a municipality. It has been a, uh, um, a part of uh, my experience that was not pleasant, but on the, on the other side, it actually strengthens you further um, to continue the work, but also to tell other women that um, if you get a threat, uh, actually there are ways and means how to deal with it, and you don't necessarily have to give up. Not only that I did not give up, I actually became stronger and decided to run again uh, for office. Being part of a network strengthens your capacities, encourages you to continue with the good work, but also it gives a strong signal that you're not alone. You all tend to realize that the same problems are throughout the world. When you are the mayor of a city, all of a sudden you're the leader of the city. You have no peers. During the time that I was mayor, um, there were a couple of people um, who threatened me, threatened my family. We were able to sort of have a female police officer, told her to dress casually. Well, it later then became a controversy because people said, oh, well, you have a publicly paid nanny, because there was no framework for a woman. The opportunity to be part of a women's network of mayors is gives you a safe space for conversation about what were the tools you used and how did you use them and why did you use them. The main challenges I faced was to advance assertive public policy on the development planning of Lima in areas such as public transportation reform, environment and climate change, the change of the whole food commerce system after 40 years, the urban planning of Lima till 2035, will all of this with gender perspective. I am, paradoxically, powerful leader and at the same time a victim of political harassment. As the mayor of the city of Marovia, we had to face the Ebola challenge right after I became mayor. And that in itself changed the dynamics of how you manage the city 
because you had to create means of uh, making sure the news got out, the information got out, the awareness was properly done, and prevention for both the residents in the city and especially for those who were cleaning the city, the workers who cleaned the city, the waste management team. It was very challenging. I experienced harassment and it came mostly from the staff and from the, within the organization, those who were there before I became mayor were really threatened by the fact that I was trying to make some changes. After a while, you realize it's because people are afraid of change and you don't react to every bit of uh, threat or harassment by lashing out. What you need to do is try to understand them. They're gonna have to listen to us because we are gonna be speaking with one voice. We're gonna train one another on how to address issues in our communities and we're gonna make sure female mayors are given their due respect and given the kind of support they need to bring about changes in their cities.